right now and time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live. Happy Friday, y'all. We, we, we made it. We made it. Yeah. Morning. It's been a long week. It has -G -I -F, been. IF indeed. No yes. doubt. No yes. doubt. Hopefully we can uh, go out on a strong note here on, well, the, on this Friday. The news just doesn't stop coming this week. Uh, you know, news, entertainment, everything, yeah. in including this story. Yeah, including Trevor Noah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's done ski, huh? Yeah, he's stepping down from The Daily Show. He made the announcement yesterday, and he didn't announce when his last day will be. There's been no announcement on who the replacement will be. And this is no shade to Trevor Noah, but to me, it feels like he just took over at The Daily Show because around the time he got that job is when I had to start getting up early for work. And so I never really made the transition from Jon Stewart to him, and I haven't seen his show very much. So I was like, didn't he just start? Nope. Seven years, seven years he's been doing it, uh, and has decided to step away. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, funny. I was I, in that I can't same boat. It's seven years. Yeah, because I just haven't watched in quite some time. I mean, he's right there with you. <laughs> Even when he's, when a, he's John an extreme Stewart talent. Was, oh yeah, for, for what it's worth, that has nothing to do with Trevor Noah. It just I, I, I don't think we've well, watched. Well, I see him his long. clips on social media sometimes. You know, he'll have uh, a take on something that goes viral. But mm. yeah, I mean, I I wasn't watching late night TV even back when John Stewart was was calling it quits. But I just feel like. Jon Stewart was so tied to The Daily Show. You know, not that Trevor Noah hasn't done a good job, but I do have to wonder, how's, how's the show gonna go on? Like, mm -hmm. you know, where does it go from here? I'll go ahead and say it. It's taken a downward spiral ever since Jon Stewart left The Daily Show. And, yeah. and this is back on Trevor Noah. I just think it was a victim of circumstance. Because like you said, Emily, Jon Stewart was so synonymous with it yeah. that it's hard to envision that show to keep going. Yeah. I think the only way you can bring it back is if you bring Jon Stewart back. You know, would he, he, he created it. He was The Daily Show. I don't think he right. would. He's gotten into some documentary filmmaking yeah. and just other projects and stand-up well, well, so and podcasts. Better. I don't know. Well, but here's what Jon Stewart and Trevor Noah have in common is like, yes, they, they are they're comics, but they use comedy to tackle real issues and yeah. current events in everyday life. And so that's their that's their main story. Colbert did the same thing with the Colbert Report, you know, mm -hmm. and obviously he's, he's with the CBS family now. But um, I, if you find another comedian to try to keep this thing alive, it has to be somebody who's along that same vein where, yes, they're they're funny and they're comics, but yeah. they are they're really in tune with with current events along the way. Right. That or maybe we could get a lady host, you know? I feel yeah. like we try that every couple of years and it doesn't pan out on other shows. Maybe this could be the time, finally. I mean, yeah, late night TV is is desperate for a little bit more, uh, you know, female comedic presence for sure. But, um, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. Well, I'll and late night TV is shaken up with James Corden. You know, he announced he's, 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 right? he's going to be done right? with the Late Late Show on, on CBS. So, yeah, The landscape is changing. Is. Well, and I wonder what's next for Trevor Noah because he didn't really say. He just said it was time to call it quits. I don't know if he's got you know a different project in the works or if he's just ready to to have the time to do something else i don't know yeah i'm he not did. sure either but i'm ready for whatever the next thing is he did subtly allude to like going back on tour and doing stand-up around yeah. the country he said you know because of the pandemic he was doing the show from his apartment for a couple of years and he just kind of felt trapped he didn't come out and say that directly but he did kind of allude to it. So mm. it, we'll probably see him on tour at some point here. Oh, yeah. we'll have to keep an eye out. Yeah. Okay, so Bruce Willis is making headlines this week um, for selling the rights to his likeness. Really interesting what he decided to do with it. Yeah, he sold his likeness to a deep fake company. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, it usually kind of has a little bit of nefarious like thoughts and stuff that go with it, but it's like having what they refer to as a digital twin. So it is the ability to use his likeness, his face, his voice, his body in movies, commercials, TV shows, where he doesn't have to participate at all. A computer literally recreates him and they can just use him for whatever they want moving forward. Now, I don't know like the exact parameters of like the contract if it says like you can't use him for advertising but he's the very first celebrity to do this and it's it's kind of a bizarre idea but maybe it's because at this point he's had to retire from acting it's kind of a way for his likeness to continue acting even while he's unable to right well yeah. i was my my first thought was he he announced was it earlier this year mm -hmm. that he was diagnosed with aphasia so he's been mm -hmm. he's been struggling with this illness now um that you know his, is certainly going to affect his ability to to speak and and present and right. so he's stepping back from acting and i would imagine probably really stepping back from from the public eye so 
interesting that he would, you know, do this, but I think in his circumstance, I understand. I, I understand that. I think my first question with, with that, though, is what are they allowed to do with his, like, does he have, uh, like, does he get to sign off that's on That's the creepy thing about deep fake is, like, couldn't they technically do anything? And that's what I want to know yeah. because, like, that's, that's a lot of control you're giving up. Yeah. I understand if it's, like, this idea of trying to keep your acting career alive when, when you know, you are going through those health scares and issues, but... I mean, if you have no control over how your likeness is being used, that seems that seems a little bit scary. Yeah. Well, other deep fakes that are on the internet are a little bit scary. Right. It, it, that, that is on the dark side of the internet, probably mm -hmm. not where anybody should be going. But then there's also places where people, there's one video that went viral. It was one of the very first TikToks. That's Ron Swanson playing all the characters in Full House. So there's also other things that you can do with it. But I don't know if they have rules laid out in his contract. I would hope so. Mm. But if it were me personally, I would I would choose the era. I'd be like the years that I looked my best. That's <laughs> like, the, uh, you can use the, my diehard era right. self. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only diehard Bruce. <laughs> That's probably the one cool thing about this is that you can like pr like if I could become a deep fake, I would want it to be me about ten years ago and just kind of leave it right there. You would never <laughs> see or hear from me again. My deep fake would be on this show right now. <laughs> We would be. We would Honestly, all be can cool. I sell the rights to a deep fake and then sleep in in the morning, like? <laughs> and just like have could I, Emily exactly. Burris clone. Can, can we have a deep fake Burris until six a.m. Because that would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's this a slope. <laughs> yeah, but this technology in and of itself is scary to me. And, and oh, man. You know, I, I'm a lover of all things creepy, but there could be a Die Hard movie that gets released in 2096, starring Bruce <laughs> Willis. <laughs> Not okay. I'll be here to see it. If uh, if you see us on the air at 4 30 in the morning suddenly looking very alert and awake um, <laughs> yeah. be suspicious be between, suspicious. between deep fakes and robots <laughs> the world is getting scarier and scarier oh All right, man. guys. okay thanks you on guys. that note have a good weekend we'll see you next week <laughs> bye, bye. bye. Yeah, don't forget you can listen to liz and mike every weekday morning on 105 one the buzz <laughs>